everyone welcome to our channel today in this lecture we are going to talk about the estimation of missing rainfall data so let's start estimating the missing rainfall data is a common task in hydrology and metrology especially when dealing with data sets that may have gaps or missing value several methods can be used for estimating missing rainfall data here we'll talk about the two methods that are automatic average mean first one is automatic average method and the second one is normal ratio method so let's start with the automatic average Automatic average method. If the normal annual precipitation at various stations are within 10% of the normal annual precipitation at station 1, then missing rainfall is estimated by using simple automatic mean method that is PA equals 1 by M times of PB plus PC plus PD plus dot 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 up to PN where PA equals precipitation at point A A that need to be find out M equals number of adjacent rain gauge station and PB, PC up to PN are the precipitation of BC. of station B, C up to the given that is any station for the period for which the data are given sorry the data are missing so let's clarify this by example yeah, in the question we have given the rainfall data for year 2080 is at station now the four station are given at rainfall data monthly in mm and the rainfall data annual in mm this is also in mm so at the first we have to find out in second 195 so here in this given question we have to find out the rainfall at station a so first we'll ca carry out the change in difference percentage difference that is so percentage difference at point at station b equals 470 is subtracted to 50 is divided by again 
oh, 70 times of 100% equals 4.25%. So similarly, similarly the percentage difference for station C equals in res with respect to station A. 470 times of 450 is divided by 470. This is also in times of 100%. This is also 4.25% and for the D 470 times of 510 is divided by 470 times of 100% equals 8.25% here the change in percentage is less than 10 therefore percentage difference is less than 10% so automatic average method is adopted If this value is above the 10%, then we have to use another method to find out the rainfall. But this value is less than 10, so, so here we use the automatic average method. Now we'll apply the formula as we have mentioned in our theory portion above as this equation. The automatic average method is to find out at station A is 1 by 3 times of 195 plus 186 plus 243 equals on solving this the result will be 208 mm so at station A for the given data the rainfall data for the monthly is 200 mm Now let's talk about the normal ratio. Here in the normal ratio method, if the normal precipitation vary considerably more than 10%, then Px is estimated by normal ratio method, that is the rainfall is estimated by normal ratio method using the formula px equals nx is divided by m times a p1 by n1 plus p2 by n2 plus up to pn by n where px is the rainfall for missing station and P1, P2, P3 are the precipitation at surrounding station And N1, N2, N3 are the normal annual rainfall. And at the last, this M represents the number of station. So let's clarify this with example. The rainfall data of a year to 2080 can be given as 
This is the station. Rainfall at one storm event. Normal annual rainfall. So these are the station D and at the station A we have to find out at station B it's 110, at station C it's 90 and 120 and on the next side it is 980, 1120, 635 and 1200. So let's start solving. So in this question too, first we will carry out the percentage difference. So percentage difference at station B equals 980 times of 980 times of 1120 is divided by 980. 100%. So solving this, the result will be 14.28%. So similarly for the station C with respect to station A, as we have to find out the station A. 635 is divided by 980 times of 100% equals 2%. And for station D, it's 980 double zero by 100% equals 22.4% here in this case the change in difference is greater than 10% so normal ratio method is adopted the percentage difference is greater than Ten percent. So normal ratio method is adopted. That is, P A equals one by M means three. That is three. Three station are given with the data value. And so. So on solving this, the result will be 111.04 mm, so which is the required rainfall at station A as per the given data. So for this time, we end up the video up to this much. We will come again with one new video. Till then, keep on watching channel, keep on watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe us. Thank you.